We've got two topics to discuss today and let's get straight into it. The first topic for today is invisible players. I know everybody's being tired of it. I know BSG is working on it. We just have to wait. I can't really say much. Uh, I'm as frustrated as you are. However, there is a way to know that you have invisible players in your raid. And let me quickly talk about that. So if you are getting this kind of error in your console, you can open console by pressing till the button on your keyboard and you can see plenty of errors actually all of these errors are popping per second you're getting like few hundred if not thousand of lights per second in your in your console so in my case if i was playing sheets and i would get an invisible player i would get all of these uh, errors in my console i would open console and my game would just crash so if that happens to you, if you open console and your game crashes, it means that there is an invisible player in your lobby and you're getting those errors. So what do they actually say? They There is a null reference exception, um, an error which goes for like 1, 2, 3, 4, like 8, 8, 9, 10 lines. And then it just repeats itself. It's the same error all over again. And if you're getting this error in your console, it means 100% there is an invisible player in your lobby. And I, rec I recommend you restarting the game. I'm not entirely sure what null reference exception means for Unity, but overall, a null reference exception is thrown when you try to access a member on a type whose value is null. Um, typically reflects a developer error and is thrown in the following scenarios. You have forgotten to instantiate a reference type. Yeah, so, forgot. BSG, BSG just forgot that enemies uh, need to render on our screen. They, they, they just forgot. All right, jokes aside, I hope this helps you to fight the invisible player situation in uh, some way. So the more information you know, the better. We're all hoping for the soon TM fix for this thing. And now let's move to the second topic, which is buffed armors and meta meta. And the armor shifting meta by BG. BG, BG, BG. 4 a.m., I'm tired, please forgive me. BSG have been buffing heavy armors for the past uh, two weeks or so. First of all, they increased the amount of hit points for Zabrala, Thor and Samurai armor. And right now they increased it again. The max points Zabrala can have is 120, which is an insane amount of points. And it tanks pretty well. I've played for a couple of raids with Zabralo. I might actually post one raid from today, tomorrow, aka the next video. And that's not the only thing. The second thing is they buff the ergonomics. Before Zabralo used to be very heavy, it used to change your movement speed a lot and slow you down when you run and walk. Right now it doesn't slow you down as much and therefore more people can play with it and you don't need like maxed out strength or something to move fast enough and feel comfortable. Therefore I will advise all of you to try to play with heavy armors. There are plenty of different butters for Zabralo if you check uh, proper sells it for 4 thermites and for TP200 that's roughly 350k. Same thing here, two Aesis and five Relays, that's around 350k. And I think it's not that much for such a great armor. And if you combine it with something like an LZH helmet, which is level 4, as well as level 4 visor. And then on top of that, you can use Modonin, which gives you negative 10% of damage taken. It makes you an absolute tank. 100% you should give it a try. So yeah, I would expect to see more players, especially of high level with high level skills, endurance and strength whenever people max it out i would expect them to play with armors like zabrala thor and uh, samurai especially thor and zabrala because both of them are level six um yeah so let me let me know down in the comments below what you think about this meta shift from light armors to heavy ones there is more protection they actually tank more bullets and they do tend to save you like this is this is a pretty big change in my opinion more or less those are all the news for today big thanks to my channel supporters to the people that joined the community and once again thank you so much for watching the video and i'll see you in the next one